Hello traders, this is BCL um, and these are Euro 2020 semi-finals. Um, after the break uh, of two days, we're now um, back with the action and we have the first semi-final uh, today and I'm inviting you to have a closer look at that game uh, together with me. Um, so it's Italy versus Spain and um, I'm looking at match odds as you can, as you can see. Italy being priced at 2.54, Spain at 3.25. Um, so the tendency is towards Italy winning but, um, but uh, there is no... Um, uh, there is no clear uh, clear favorite here. Um, now, uh, again, uh, let's look at some facts. So Italy uh, booked their place in the semi-final with an impressive 2-1 quarter-final victory over a FIFA, a FIFA's uh, top-ranked nation, um, Belgium. And as a result, they have reached the semi-final of a major tournament on 12 occasions now and the only European nation to be better than this is Germany uh, they reached 20 uh, semi-finals uh, and Roberto Mancini's players have also won their last 15 Euro matches if we include the qualifiers in what is a new um, competition record and in in my opinion, I mean, Italy uh, play; they are playing a great football, great to watch, not a boring football like they played some some time ago. And I think they are the the best side out of these um, four teams that are left, right? Italy, Spain, England, and Denmark. I think Italy are playing at the moment the best football, but you know. It is sport, it is football, and not always the best or the better side wins. So, um, what's, uh, what else? Um, Italy, uh, um, so they won 2-1 one to, to, to one with Belgium. Earlier, they eliminated Austria 2-1 after extra time. Uh, and in the group, Turkey 3-0, Switzerland 3-0, and Wales 1-0. Nil. Um, Spain, on the other hand, um, they are uh, they are really uh, re really struggling, and they needed penalties to overcome uh, Switzerland. Um, so, yeah, penalties with Switzerland. They won. They defeated Croatia after extra time. So. Uh, definitely Italy in a better uh, shape and uh, yeah the stats are saying that Luis Enrique's men have also enjoyed some fortune in terms of own goals with three of the ten own goals at Euro 2020 going in their favor so so that's uh, that's that uh, and although Spain managed just one goal against Switzerland last time out, they forced opposition goalkeeper Jan Sommer into 10 saves, the most by any keeper in a single game at this, at this tournament. Plus, the fact that Spain scored 10 goals across the two games prior to that fixture, including extra time, highlights that their attack is in a red-hot form but today they face italy a team that uh, just doesn't con concede goals uh, you know they they've conceded that one with with belgium after the penalty but other th other than that um not really so spain we have 1-1 after 90 minutes 3-3 after 90 minutes 5-0 with slovakia and then again 1-1 with poland in the group and 0-0 with sweden so in, ter in terms of head-to-heads, uh, both teams last met in 2017 
and that was um, uh, World Cup qualifiers. They were both in the same group G and Spain were first in that group and Italy were second. So last game 2017 Spain won 3-0. Uh, two goals were scored by Isco and the third goal by Alvaro Morata. And earlier in 2016 when they played in Italy it was a... Um, and they played in Turin and it was a 1-1 one, one, um, uh, one, one draw. Uh, and in fact, the very same referee, Felix Brich, who was the referee in that 1-1 one, one match, will be the referee today. So, so that's, that's that um, as well. Okay, now over under 2.5 goals. As you can see, 2.48, 2.5 for over 2.5 goals. So, um, so again, the market is expecting this one to stay under 2.5 goals. And the correct score market supports that fully, where you can see 0-0 uh, at 9.4, um, 0-1 at 9.6. But... Uh, also, 1-1 uh, at 6.8, and that's the first, uh, the top market selection, and 1-0 at 8.1. Um, um, now, this one is tricky because uh, we want to build a trade and we want it to be valuable, but... Uh, not many goals are expected and the prices, the odds aren't that good. But uh, first, I think that Italy um, are a better side in this tournament and they have, they have the edge. So um, I want to build this trade around Italy winning um, and perhaps perhaps um, a draw. So I want what I want to do is I will start by backing 2-0 and 2-1 because the odds are very good and the results are very um, I mean they 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 are uh, good results uh, potential results probable results uh, and we and for the other two results, we need to add some that are a um, uh, little bit more um, popular. I think 1-1 one, one has to be backed here. Uh, you know, Spain is capable of scoring. This can be a close game. I know that 6.8 is far from being good, but I want to cover 1-1. Um, one, one. And for the... For the fourth uh, score, um, let me have a quick look again. Yeah, so we can do some what ifs. If we go with nil nil, mm, this will leave us with more than 100% uh, green on nil nil, uh, 16 out of 24 uh, on 1 1, and then 54 and 48. Uh, and uh, yeah, th this can be. And this can be a close call, uh, really. That's 9.4. If we went with 1-0, uh, the, um, the odds are pretty low. And that's... Um, the, the tricky part is that if Spain scores, uh, two out of our four scores are immediately dead. So I would, um, I would rule out 1-0. Uh, nil one. I mean, Spain scoring and Italy um, not managing to score. Not really. I mean, you remember that Spain game that ended three three. So you know, Spain defense is not not that good. I mean, Poland scored against Spain as well. Switzerland scored, so uh, nil one, no, not um, not really. Um, so, um, one two at 15.5, that would give us a great cover in case it is one one, but leaves us uncovered for scores like 
nil 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 one or one nil so here i think two options we either back nil nil and go with that or uh, we back uh, one two which is um greater odds greater profits on one two and two one but um a little bit more uh, more risk i think that um we want um we won't see a quick goal in this in this match so what i'll do is i will go with uh, i'll go with nil nil i don't like backing nil nil um because obviously just one goal uh, and um and that um, that score is taken out of the equ equation but here we have uh, more than 100 percent green and potentially we can um uh we can uh, place a lay bet if the goal is uh, is not scored um at least maybe in the first 45 uh, 45 minutes but then as i say i i um I think Italy um, have, you know, more chances of of going through. It may be it may be a goalless draw. It may be somewhere around one one. Um, if it's three three, uh, it's fine. You know, I I got this wrong. Uh, okay, so we'll see what happens. These are my four target scores. Again, I can add the fifth score if something crazy is happening. Uh, but I'll leave that f potentially for in play. So nil nil one one two one and two uh, nil. Um, good luck um, to you all. Um, uh, I hope we all enjoy uh, the game um, uh, tonight and and get some profits out of it. So once again, thanks uh, for watching. Once again, thanks for all the likes, for all the uh, subscriptions. I really appreciate the support and uh yeah all the best to you guys we'll speak again tomorrow talking about england against denmark bye bye